Sea pickles in Minecraft, what are they good for? Hello everybody, I'm Chad. Today's episode we're going to take a deep dive into sea pickles and find out every single fact there is to know about some sea pickles. See you in a bit. So here we are inside of Minecraft and we have found the sea pickles. Uh, it actually took me a little while of floating around trying to find a lukewarm ocean to actually find these guys natively and in the wild. So these are sea pickles right here. You can see them on the ground. They come in uh, little packs, uh, basically. Uh, they call them colonies. So you can have a colony of uh, up to four pickles and as little as one pickle. If you have a colony of zero pickles, it's a pretty sad day. Uh, now, they don't only just spawn around the coral, but that is the easiest place to find them. If you're in a lukewarm ocean, they can just spawn just hanging out all by themselves. As you can see, they give off light. They give off a light level, which is pretty cool because it lights up the bottom of the ocean. Now, these uh, you also have some interesting stuff when it comes to uh, these seaweed, or I guess kelp. Uh, and you can kind of experiment with that. Here we go, a normal piece of glass uh, by putting glass on top of the kelp. And you can, well, maybe not right there, uh, but you can see that uh, some of the kelp will actually give off some more light if you add the glass on top of it. So you might see it's a little bit darker. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this where you can actually see the transition. Boop, there you go. It gets a little bit brighter down there. Um, so, anyway, uh, pickles are whoa, uh, one of the easiest ways to add light underwater. If I switch into game mode survival, they're really easy to get. All you have to do is punch them. If you're on the bedrock edition, it does take a moment. You can't, it's not just the immediate punch, uh, which works. And then you can pick up all of the pickles. Uh, you pick up the same amount that it was in the colony uh, when you smacked it. Oh no, dolphins. Let, please, I need these entities. If you would not, that'd be great. Uh, also, if you break the block that is beneath the pickles, so you can see also the light level uh, raised there. If you break this block right here, uh, you will still get the same amount of pickles that was on top of the block when you broke it. Uh oh, I'm drowning. Now, if you want to be able to farm pickles, uh, you're not able to farm pickles uh, just here on the sand. You can use bone meal. Let me find some bone meal. You can use bone meal on these guys, but as you can see on the sand, nothing is happening. That's because they need to be placed onto living coral. So you can go ahead and mine up some coral, just put it all down on in a sheet, and then you can put down your pickles. Uh, if you hit one, they will fill up that area and some of the areas around that pickle as well. So you can actually get quite a few pickles pretty quickly with just a few pieces of bone meal. And so if there's extra areas around, you can continue to bone mill to get even more. And uh, that's how that works. I think that's a pretty nice way to uh, harvest pickles. If you're wondering how much light does a pickle create, well, let's just uh, stand right here, and you can see that when we place down, whoops, I gotta put it there and then walk on top of it. If we place down a single pickle, the light level goes up to six. We throw down another pickle, and it raises to nine. Another, then it raises to 12. So each pickle is three light levels. Uh, it goes up to 15. Uh, three light levels with a starting light level of six. So uh, 15 is the most you can have, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good light level. You can really see uh, how these would be the torches that you would have to use if you were underwater and wanted there to be light down here. But a few pickles can really add a ton of light underwater. I'm not even using night vision at the moment, and it's so easy to see under here. Sea pickles can be placed into a furnace. And after they are smelted, they will give you an itty bitty 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 bit of lime green dye. So they can be used to make a lime green dye. And uh, 
you know, I don't know why you'd need a ton of lime green dye. Uh, you can also get that, of course, from cactuses and then bone mill and add in crafting those together to get lime green dye. But if for some reason you need a lot of lime green dye and you happen to have a lot of sea pickles, that's the way you can get it. Sea pickles can be placed in the overworld. Uh, they just won't have that little plume that you see underwater. So you can kind of see there's that little white thing at the top and the ones that are placed out of water do not have that same little plume. Also, pickles placed on land will not generate light like the other pickles, so these won't generate any light, but if you put some underwater, they will generate light. So you'll just, you could use them as decorations. Uh, they look almost like, uh, what, little itty bitty cactuses almost. Um, so you could use them as some type of decoration in your build, but uh, they will not generate any light outside of the water. If you listen to the sound that it makes as I place them down, that sound may be familiar. That is the slime sound. And you also get that same slime sound when you walk on top of the sea pickles. So kind of interesting that they are reusing the slime sound and it just sounds just fine. Also, if you were wondering if you are in survival mode, no, you cannot eat pickles. I'm spamming right click right now. And no, you cannot actually eat the pickles. Poor sea pickles can't even be eaten as a pickle. Well, that about wraps it up for sea pickles. I think that they're very, very cool. A little bit difficult to find because you do need to find those lukewarm oceans that they spawn in. But once you find a few and the coral that is normally next to them, then you can create a ton of sea pickles from a little farm with bone meal and then you will have lots for you to use and very, very useful for creating easy light underwater. Woo, that was salty. I mean, in the sea, also this pickle. Don't worry, they're kosher. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and make sure you subscribe for future tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights. And of course, let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.